Hello folks, welcome back to the channel, Farmer Envoy Extreme here. Here we are on the 19th of April 2024, we're looking at one brand new mod today. But also we're going to be looking at some of the new update mods, because some of them has had some major changes and new additions. So, as always, I'm going to go over the updates first of all, so let's start off with some of the maps. Starting off with some of our updates, we've got update 1.0.0.3 to Alma, Missouri. No new game save is required, and the change lock is as following. Added a snow road when it snows and wet asphalt when it rains. Increased the number of cows, sheep, and the amount of food in the animal barns. Increased the seller price at the train sell point so that the train has become more attractive to sell your goods. The farmhouse on the main farm has been retextured and a usable garage has been added. The cow farm near the town was retextured and a usable garage has also been added to the farmhouse. Added a placeable farmhouse with a usable garage and colour selectable walls. Some of the trees that are stuck too far into the ground have been raised so that removing them from the fields can be joined more easily. And lastly, the herbicide fertilizer and seed and liquid fertilizer and the lime tanks are now available to be purchasable in the container section. And for our last update to the maps, we've got Crater Lake 22 by Poor Boy and Catalyzer Industries. Change log 1.5.0.01. Change log is new productions added, added materials and other tweaks and fixes. The old save should work, but the map maker does re recommend a new game save as always. And in terms with the update to the new productions, I am assuming it's the Stone Crusher, Root Crop Processing, Crude Oil Production, and maybe the Firewood, but I'm not sure. Don't see a change log for that on any previous updates. But yeah, apart from that, I'm not sure. But anyways, that is the update to Creator Lake 22. Now for your regular mods, we've got the Grass Drying. This is by The Dort. Change log 1.1, silage can now be made from hay and bells can now be also processed, so yeah, type in there and, and yeah, so obviously before you had your normal grass drying to hay and your grass to silage, but now you can also make hay into silage and yeah, same recipe as before, 48,000 liters a month, capacities are 1 million liters. So yeah, that is the update to the grass drying by the Lord. Next, the large outdoor chicken coop. This is by also the Lord. 1.93 megabytes and change log 1.1 added a second larger chicken coop. So if we go into our build mode under animals, you'll find it's under chicken. So his old one, which is now called the medium outdoor chicken coop, hold it 500 chickens. But yeah, the new one now holds 700, 12 grand to place, two slots for console, accepts wheat, barley, and sorghum. Feeding capacity is a thousand liters. However, they consume 146 liters an hour, or 3,504 liters of crop a month, and that is with all 700 chickens. So. Compared to some of your other animal pens, this ain't too bad. Yes, we'll need requiring of topping up three to four times, well, four times a month, three, four loads, and a half load a month. But yeah, overall, not too bad. And I'm liking the new addition, so that is the update to the large outdoor chicken coop by the Lord. Next, we've got an update to the open air garden. This is by the one and only. Mrs. Omatana, change log 1.2, added medium and large sized garden. So, this is what you'll see on some of our other maps. I know, what was it? Four fields. Yeah, that was it. Four fields. The large one here was very prominent. But also, you got a medium one. So, yeah, you'll find it under productions and greenhouses. So, you got your normal simple one here, we're used to. Your immediate one costs eight grand. Six slots to place goes down to one. And your large one, which is basically four of those put together, is 20 grand. 
So yeah, if you want multiple of these, go with the large one. Twenty grand to place. Also, six slots on console. And as always, this will accept seed, fertilizer, and all that. So yeah, with this, as always, if you're familiar with this, you can produce your normal stuff, so your tomatoes, eggs, and strawberries. But also, you can produce potatoes, sunflower, sugar beet, soybeans, corn, cotton, and grapes. And just to show an example of the capacities and that, so obviously it's a million liters of water, 200 liters of seed and solid fertilizer, and 400 liters of manure, that is for both the large and the medium. In terms of outputs, I've done this with pretty much things like your tomatoes, tomatoes, and some of your other crops, so your cotton and grapes and that. Not your cotton, sorry, yeah, cotton and grapes. In terms with outputs per month, the large one, for example, with tomatoes is 20 to 20, 1,360 cycles per month. That means in a month you can produce 30,570, sorry, 30,720 liters a month. With seeds and fertilizer, or with seeds and manure, doesn't matter, you can produce 51,200 liters a month. So, and that's just with your tomatoes, lettuce, and that. Okay, not your lettuce, but your tomatoes and your grapes, and that. Also, your cotton as well. But for the medium, so that is. 7,680 liters a month you can produce and with the seed and fertilizer that doubles to 15,360 liters so that is a game changer a bit yeah I'll say a game changer especially with one mods we're going to be looking at later on but yeah that is outstanding and this is going to be very prominent on some of my next plays including a brand new next play series coming tomorrow so Stay tuned for that. But anyway, that is the update to the Open Air Garden by the Miss Omatana. Next. For our final update, I think it was worth looking at today. This is the update to the Lispable Bells Pack by Yos. Change Lock 1.1.2.0. Change dimensions of the square and ram bell, so that is your grass, hay, straw, and slice bell support, base game equipment, and other mods. Along with that, added a 2,000 and 5,000 year bell capacity to the John Deere STP 690 com no, cotton harvester. So yeah, this is significant because for ages, yeah, use this bell's awesome in that, as always is. But you, you always struggled with ham support with other traders in that. So, what I've gone done is, I've got two mods I use on my test map. So the selectable bell capacity and the lizard platform trader so I'll show these here so I'll go to my mods so yeah the lizard platform traders and the selectable bell capacity mod they work fine also works with the base game at Arkson trader I yeah, will look at the con bells in a sec and these bells here are my old bells so go to them and yep, they'll work just as fine, so if you already got bells for juice and that, don't worry, you can still use them, and yeah, we'll work with do your base game stuff, so yeah, this is a base game bell loader and that, so no issues there. So, I haven't gone and tested, but now because the bell sizes are more normal now, this should be able to work with the straw harvest pack by Creative Mesh. Because before, it was like, when you put your little bells in, it had a crash, so it caused the game to crash at the point of where it was grinding the bells, so in theory that should work. Haven't gone and tested it, but once I know something, I'll let you folks know. So yeah, now with the con harvester, so we've got our two bells here, 5,000 litres and 2,000 litres, so once you're into the combine, or con harvester R1 and change bell size so when it says on that top left 238 centimeters that is your normal size 
10,000 of your bells. Press R3. That will go down to 235. That is your 5,000 of your bells. And 231 is your 2,000 of your bells. And yeah, if you like me, when testing this and setting this up, you left it on 238. You try to change it down, to change down the capacity. Won't work. Going up seems to be fine, I think. I haven't tested that part, but... So yeah, if you make a mistake with selecting 238, once that bell has been produced, it will work fine with the small bells. So yeah, a little thing to note with that. But yeah, that is the update to the Liftable Bells Pack by Yos. Next, let's look at our actual one and only mod of the day. And here it is. This is the Widespan Vehicle System. This is by Dogface and BDB SSB. 32.14 megabytes to download. Slot counts are the following. 19 slots for the tractor. For the hook lift trailer it is 8 slots. And for the HV23, so this thing here, which we'll look at in a sec, that is 11 slots. And yeah, you'll find these. Yeah, you know what? Let's all look at that. So, basically, what is this? So, obviously, it's a hook lift trailer net. That is able to support this, the HV23. And the way this acts like a hopper net for your combine harvester. Will mount onto any headers and that, any headers, whether it's small, medium, or large. It is recommended by the modders involved to use the HD45X, which I've got here, the John Deere header, or the John Deere C16F header, the corn header, or any 30 meters or above header. Now it says 30 meters header, but you can go above, you can go small, and as I've done over here, I've ignored the intentions by the modder and that, because I thought, while setting this up and that, which took me a couple of minutes to figure it all out, it looked absolutely stunning. So yeah, where do you find this all? So, first of all, under large tractors, you'll find the tractor of this combine. Be yeah, quite pricey at 400 grand, 25 miles an hour top speed, weighs 18 half tons, over 1100 horsepower and 625 of your fuel capacity. In terms of your design, you got your EU and US design. So all that is just your little markers and on sides. Design color, so go to that. So in terms of the colors, you got a lizard blue, light blue, which is a bit of a, it's more of a grayish, to be honest, but got lizard gray, beige, olive, red, and then got your normal whites and that. So yeah, we'll go with the olive. That would change the sides and that. For the main body, which is obviously the main body. Select the red. That changes all that, including the cap. And your rim colour. So you've got chrome, stainless steel, white and that beige. Silver and that. And then your normal colour palette stuff. So let's select a nice hot pink. That'll change the rims. Now, under Tools and Miscellaneous, you'll find your HV3. So this is basically your like your hopper and all that. 7.6 tons, holds 23,000 liters, and at the moment, it only holds your normal stuff and that. There's no multi-crop support in that. But saying that, could be possible an update in idea in that. Why not that working out with the header mount? I don't know, but. So yeah, 75 grand. So again, same color palette options as before. So design color will change the markers on the back. So purple, pink, that will change that. Now for your hook lift trailer, you'll find this under tools and trailers. And right at the end, three line grand weighs five. So yeah, your main color design is the main bed itself. I get limited palette options. And then you got your rim colours. Like so. Are you there? So yeah, basically this is a more of a versatile combine harvester in a way. Even though it says tractor and that, so let's start with this first of all. So obviously this is the combine position. 
Hover press L1 and X. That will change the cab positioning. So, see it, it will turtle and that will crab around. And then, yep, this will go up. Like so. And then it comes a lot more useful to driving at. Like so. And yeah, you can still attach to your other stuff if you want. But yeah, let's put back into the combine position. Also, you got your different steering. So you got front wheel steering and your all wheel steering. So let this unfold a sec. I do love that animation. So yeah, front wheel steering, left to right. But yeah, personally, I recommend all wheel steering just because of that versatility. So yeah, now let's go attach to the hopper nat. That's, that's what I'm calling it, the hopper nat. And actually, before that, looking at this joint snap, that is nice. Nice level of detail now. And actually, yeah, I also didn't realize how this is here as well. But yeah, nice lovely bits of detail. So yeah, you go for it. Then you attach that. So then you've got your pipe out. Got a straw swath option, yes or no. No other option, so let's put the pipe in. Attach it to our header here we've got here. Get that hooked up. And then yep, yeah, lower your header. Actually helps if you actually unfold this, so unfold the harvester so that will open your hopper up. Now should be able to work. But yeah, why do we have this? So in reality it makes sense. Basically what this does is essentially so when you're like harvesting, like so we are now, you're putting less damage onto the terrain because it's a wider axle so the weight is distributed over a greater length of period. Also the four wheels and that so let's say if this weighed 10 tons that's two and a half tons on each wheel and it's widely distributed so in real life this would make sense for less soil disturbance and yeah pretty say effective soil management and yeah reduces compaction and in real life does mean better crop yields and that as well but yeah, if you got prop destruction on, this will work fine, as we are now. I will turn around. Ooh, doesn't like the bumpy terrain I've left here and that. But yeah, normally, a bit of a wide circle and that, so... Possibly recommend turn the header off, and then actually steer now, rather than say, ooh, just steer right. And then, yeah, we'll harvest this ass a little bit here. Also, you ignore that I've left position for none from the mod review the other day. But yeah, overall, I do actually like this. So, let's say we're done and we want to empty this. So, there we go. Pipe out. And yeah, we can just discharge it into our cell point or onto a trailer as we're going along. And actually, I did demonstrate this, but does this work with AI? So let's go and have a look. Put the combine on, or tractor on. So, technically, this is classified as a tractor and that, but... So yep, yeah, hands-free. AI worker is on, so it works well with AI. And then, yeah, just bring your trailer aside. I wish I had a bigger feel that to test in that, in terms of showing going alongside. But, yeah, just go to the side. So, show example, a little pipe out there. So, yeah, this should just pull up to the side and you'll work just fine. But now, let's look at the hook lift trailer part. So, there we go. We've got the hook lift on. So, elbow and X. And that will raise those hook arms. And, yeah, essentially, this is designed for the grain cart hopper thing. Again, I'm using these terms very loosely, and yeah, I'm sure in real life they do have the exact terms in that. Well, the HV23 is actually the harvester itself. So, HV23, that is the harvester. 
and this is just a tractor attached to said harvester. But yeah, let's go and fold the harvester in that. Detach the tractor from the harvester, move out of the way. So when you're moving along in that, so I'm going to put you into normal mode. But yeah, in theory, you can still drive down the road with this attached, but with this, shush you. So yeah, let's go and loop around. Actually makes more sense if we say fold it. So yeah, pull along the side. And then just unfold. Like so. Again, I'm not perfectly aligned, but should work as just fine. Actually no, makes sense. The hook lift part is on this side, so there we go, that's better. So yeah, now we can attach to the harvester. That will then con, so you've got these little joints here. Just unfold that, so yeah, you've got these little mounting joints. So yeah, attached, fold at the same time, and yeah, that will raise that onto the trader. Still got your option for your pipe out, so if you've gotten that, so... Again, I'm thinking, in terms of the usability of this, depends on what, what map you're using, what, and like how you set the farm up. This probably would make sense if you're holding long distance now. So you don't take out to a cell point, just take out to a cell point. But yeah, a lot of it does factor in what said cell point you're using. So yeah, as I illustrated, I thought I didn't see any screenshots of this, so... Let's... No, let's go that. Let's extend the arm out. Can we attach a header to this? The answers are yes and no. Basically, it depends on what you're using, so I'm going to just show this off now. So, attach said header. Seems to be fine. Can we turn on the harvester net? Nope, so you can't use this as a harvester, as like so. So, let's try fold this. And whether or not this will work, my answer is. No. So, you can see, we've got a problem. The header comes off like so. And again, this part of the mod review is not what is shown by the modern act. I'm just having a little laugh and test. So, yeah. Obviously, we need to look at the weight. So, we go to our headers. So, get the John Deere header up. That weighs four and a half tons. I've gone and tested our little draper header, weighs 3.7 tons. Why don't you, sorry, use this one, 3.4 tons, and still had issues with it. Tested the small headers, 1.7 tons, works fine. I've tested one of these two here, so 2.5 tons, seems to work fine in that. So here we are, and I've got the Powerflow 40 foot header, so. That weighs just over 3.3 tons. And yep, I think I found the perfect limit. So let's go and fold this. And as it is weighing 3.3 tons, it just about works. However, be careful when turning right. That's what I recommend. So. Can attach a header and transport this along like so. Obviously, if you take a hard right, try your tips and that, but yeah, you can correct it, but yet yeah, you're on the fine edge, so I'll say any headers that is yeah, 3.3 tons or less is recommended. But yeah, as I've said, this is not the intentional by the boulders and that. Sorry, dog face and that. But anyway, so that is the Wide Span Vehicle System by Dogface and BDB SSB. And yeah, only one mod we had today. Unfortunately, this happens in that, and 
yeah, we had one update yesterday to the Lizard Rumber Van by Kazdan18, and that got removed uh, because another modder made a complaint or something. Oh no, actually, I've got the blog boost up here. I'll quickly mention this at the end of said mod review. So yeah, I'll leave a link to this down below. But yeah, so the translation is basically... It's been clarified that a part of the rumber van, which is called the Shadow Focus Box, was used without consent and either Giants wasn't happy with the inf interpretation of this or another modder flagged it as one of their own. Because basically, how mods work on mod HUD, let's say I have a mod, someone's used my mod in that without my permission, all I have to do is raise a red flag to Giants and they will instantly remove that mod from the mod hub and it is a case of you're innocent until prove no sorry you're guilty until proven otherwise so basically this was raised up and so yeah apparently the van was supposed to be banned because they're using the invisible cube in the game which turned out to be from the game files itself not from a another mod or that again our this is the translation i've gotten here so yeah is a bit iffy here and there, but I'm not sure. And yeah, it says not sure if the author himself reported to Giants that his box was being used or the Giants figured it out by comparing it themselves. But at the end of the day, it's a huge mess. Like Plegni, that was removed the other day, and that, and that was because of with MSM Studio, they used a prefab wall or low wall of some sort that is available on the mod hub. And basically, long story short, someone complained to MSM Studio or complained about it. And yeah, basically, they said to MSM Studio they wanted the mod removed rather than being civil and come to some form of agreement. And yeah, as a result, the mod, the map got removed, and MSM Studio is working on an update to Pagani. But yeah, unfortunately. All of the models that ma 7 Studio uses, including stuff they've released publicly or have created for people being paid. For going on forward, they have not given permissions going forward in that, so it wouldn't surprise me if you have seen more maps that removed from the mod hub. Yeah, just again, the last few days in that has been interesting. Maps being removed, mods being removed, no communication from giants in that publicly in that, and yes, I know they won't, but. Yeah, just all this is a big mess, and going forward, we need great communication while like, maps get removed and that, and I will do a video at some point on this, because mods and that, maps not being removed over stupid reasons is absolutely perfect at the end of the day. Yep, if someone's using it, using a mod illegally and that, then yes, take it down. I don't have any issues with that. But this whole guilty into proven instance, unfortunately... That's how it works, and I guess for Giant's sake, it makes the most sense for them. But yeah, at the end of the day, it's a mess in that. But anyways, let's wrap this up. So yeah, this is the end of the mod review for the 19th of April, 2024. And as always, hope you enjoyed this mod review. If so, smash the button, feel free to comment down below. If you want to share some, please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to it, then please consider. But for all you to do, hope you have a nice day. But for now, this is the former Envoy Extreme, and I'll see you all very soon.